Welcome to the fluid mechanics lecture number two. In this lecture, the first thing we're going to talk about is density. Um, the Greek letter for density is rho. So I sort of write it like this. And rho is equal to, so the density is equal to mass over volume. The SI units for mass are kg. And the SI units for vol uh, volume is meters cube. Another way to remember density is equal to mass over volume is to sort of make a heart like this and then just so this looks like M and then this looks like V. So density is equal to mass over volume. The SI unit is kg over meter cube. So now you're, now you're probably wondering you know what 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 exactly is density? Well Well, pretend that you have two liquids, one cooking oil, so you have two containers. So you have two, uh, two liquids of the same volume, so you have the same volume. One is filled with, um, say, cooking oil, the other one it has water. same amount of uh, the same amount of volume in both of them both of them let's say you have 15 meter cube of volume but I'm gonna tell you that this which is a cooking oil that this is less dense than this so what, what exactly what makes it less dense if they both have the same volume well if if volume is the same so if meter cube is the same then kilograms changed right the kilograms of oil to the kilograms of water the kilogram of this so the so the mass of this is considerably less the mass of cooking oil is considerably less than the mass of water so if you have kilogram over meter cube and you have less of cooking oil then your density will obviously be less so that's one way of saying that. Another way of saying it is, what if you have the same kilogram but your volume changes? What happens then? Well, how does volume change? Well, one of the ways volume change can be with is temperature. Oops, Celsius. So which temperature? As temperature increases, the density. So as as temperature increases, then the volume would increase because as you get hotter and hotter, volume starts to increase of liquids. Now this is true for most liquids except for water. It's not somewhat true for water because water at 4 degrees has the highest density and as it becomes cooler, as it becomes 3, 2, 1, 0, the density starts to decrease. And, that, and that's sort of why um, I guess ice floats in the Ant Antarctica. So anyways, um, where were we? Um, yes, so if the kilograms are the same, and we increase the temperature what happens to volume well volume increases so if volume increases what happens to density so if volume whoops let's just see here okay so if volume increases what happens to density well therefore so what happens to density sorry about that what happens to density? Well, then the density, if the volume increases, then the density would decrease. So the density would go down. And that's sort of true with most liquids, like I said. When they become hotter, their density usually decreases. The second thing we're going to talk about here is specific weight, and that is also called gamma. So it sort of looks something like this. Gamma is equal to the weight over volume. And the weight is equal to the mass times gravity. So therefore, you can say mass times gravity over volume. Now remember, mass times gravity is what? It's remember, mass times gravity is density. So therefore, we can say density times gravity. So the gamma is equal to density times gravity.
another one is specific gravity and that's just comparing two different uh, that's comparing actually a liquid to the water so the density of a liquid or let's say let's leave a fluid divided by the density of water at 4 degrees Celsius. So this is specific gravity. This was specific weight. Now let's just do a few examples here. Example number one. Oops. Example number one. The first example we're going to say that we're going to calculate density. So, calculate. I'm just going to write this calculate density. Now, we're given volume and we're given mass. We're given, first of all, we're given volume 200 milliliters and we're given mass at 300 grams. Well, the first thing to first thing what I would do is bring both of these numbers into the correct SI systems or the SI units. So the SI units for both of these would be 200 milliliters would be 0 0.0002 meter cube and for this one would be 0 0.3 kilogram. So now remember that density, we love density, right? So density is equal to a mass over volume which is equal to the mass would be 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.3 kilograms divided by 0 0.0002 meter cube therefore this would equal 1500 kilograms per meter cube that's our answer right here. It's always good to bring the units along so you, you know what the correct units are at the end. Example number two. Example number two. Here we're asked to calculate calculate mass. So we have to calculate this. So the first thing I would do is rearrange the equation so I have mass on one side and density and volume on the other side. So mass is equal to, oh sorry, let's go step by step here. Density is equal to mass over volume. So in order to bring volume on this side I would multiply by volume and then whatever I do to this side I have to do it to this side so multiply by volume. So this cancels out. Therefore mass is equal to density times volume. So let's let's see what the so we are, we're given volume at 0 0.005 meter cube and we're given density at oops kg meter cube. So therefore, mass is equal to density, which is oops. Running out of space here. Whereas density is equal, mass sorry, is equal to the density, which is one thousand kg per meter cube, multiplied by point zero zero five meter cube. So of course the meter cubes will cancel, leaving me the answer, which is 1,000 times 0 0.005. That would be five kilograms. The kilograms from here goes all the way over here, and that is your answer.